As the P.O. box keeps getting more and more stuff, I don't always know what's in it. Lucia in Georgia sent something. We're gonna find out what. Hopefully it's not fragile or something you can't just stick a sword right through. Oh wait, small sharp unboxing knife. That needs to be sharpened. Ah, I see it's a package from Syntec. We have got one fast charging link cable and we got their new cross body bag. I've never been in love with the style of them. Like it's kind of nice to have a backpack that can like fit a quest or something these, oh wait. Is this a cross body bag or is this like a, a fanny pack? <laughs> okay, we'll get back to you on that one. I thought this was like an over the shoulder cross body bag, but no, this looks more like something you'd strap to your waist and look really fashionable with. Oh boy. <laughs> well, the bag opens. It's got some Velcro stuff we could put in there to kind of differentiate where what goes. But I guess really, they want you to just shove your headset in here sideways. Granted, my headset has a lot of accessories that do make it a lot bigger than a normal headset. So I wouldn't expect mine to fit in every case like this, but maybe, just maybe. Oh boy. So I guess you've got, you've got the over the shoulder option, going to town, hanging out. Oh gosh. You can wear it up high if you wanted. You can wear it down low. <laughs> and then if you want to take it off, it just unsnaps on both sides, falls right out the front of you. Oh boy, this feels like a meme more than a, a case. It has a weird design for it actually kind of looks like, it reminds me of the front of a Vision Pro. But you know us, we're nothing if not thorough. I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna use it for a couple weeks, I'm gonna haul my headset, I'm gonna haul my wallet in public, and I don't know about that. I'll use it uh, for a while though, and I'll get back at you with some thoughts about how it works, its functionality, I see the extra pockets, you know, all of this. We'll come back at you. And we're back. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. Uh, in a week, I wore it outside. I wore it from the recording studio to home. I did not go in a grocery store or anything like that with this on. Obviously not like this, but even over the shoulder, around the waist, just none of it. I can wear a VR headset in public. There's a lot of things I can wear. This is just not one of them for some reason. The idea that they have with this is they give you the softest cloth ever. I actually really like this baggie. It just feels so good. You drop your controllers in here and now you don't have to worry about the controllers when they're inside banging around inside of your headset. There's also this weird Velcro thing, divider, whatever you want it to be, which you could kind of shove your controllers in here. And then that also gave you some capacity to shove this inside and stick it to a wall in here. It is meant and advertised for potentially the Vision Pro or the Quest 2 or 3. And I feel like that may be why they kind of chose this shape that looks Vision Pro-ish. Although if anyone puts their $3,500 Vision Pro in this $35 case, I'll be impressed and surprised. Some of the benefits that they claimed from it, uh, they said it's more secure than most cases. You put it over your shoulder, you don't necessarily have to worry about someone snagging it as easily, but more importantly, you might not forget it somewhere. You might be holding the case and you set it down, you walk away. With this, it's always on you. Cause I mean, if someone really wanted to grab this and they see these two clips, they just hit these clips and they could run for it. But it's not really like a, snatch and grab kind of thing. It's more like, oh, you probably won't forget it somewhere. You won't leave it behind. It comes with a lens cover, but it is just a scratchy, nasty one. These things are cheap. They come with all kinds of stuff. They're just something they throw in extra a lot of the time. And then the inside of it, although it has a bit of a hard front, there really is very little padding to speak of. Like, it's not like a soft inside. I almost wish they had made it just like this bag all throughout the inside. Because of that, you don't get as much cat hair and stuff stuck in here, which is kind of nice. But as far as how much actual padding and protection are you adding from banging this thing against stuff, dropping it, it's not a lot. Really, this case would only be to house it back and forth, taking something somewhere quick. I wouldn't even shove this in luggage with a headset, honestly. But headsets do fit. And as you saw, I even shoved one with all the ears and everything on it and it did fit. Personally, it's not the case for me. It's not a case I would use. I don't like that it doesn't open up all the way and like let you really set your stuff in. It feels like every time you're putting it in and you're taking it out, you're kind of shoving it in and out of there. And even right now, if you did order it, they aren't coming out for like another month or so on Amazon. So you'd be waiting a while, but I have so many cases and this would be a last resort for me versus so many other cases. So that doesn't mean it doesn't do its job, but it does mean I'm not gonna leave a link to it. I'll leave a link to some cases I actually like. And as I may have accidentally revealed a tiny bit of there, I do have a prototype of something I'm holding on to right now that hopefully will be 
a better case in the future. I appreciate that Syntex sent this out so that we could test it out. Some of you out there might find it. You might have come here to see what I thought of it because you love yours. I'd love to know in the comments if that's the case. They did also include a fast charging cable. We'll talk about that some other time because today we're talking about cases. And if you want this one, personally, I don't. I might throw it in a giveaway thing or something for someone so they at least have a case. But even then, I feel like they'll probably get their own other case. But what do you think? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Continue the conversation with you there. It's been an absolutely wild year. Thanks to all of you, everything that's happening. Uh, this video might come out while we're actually gone in Texas trying the new treadmill from Virtuix uh, to give you a little sneak peek of that. So watch out for that video when we get back. I wanna say thank you for being here with me once again, and I'll see you in another reality.